Well, you know, we think about multiculture and how does multiculture um, play out um, in American culture, and especially um, in the urban community where, where I'm from. But it's like, um, I recall growing up um, and, you know, being surrounded by the projects and the bricks and all this type of thing and, and really not finding my own culture because they teach us culture in school about, about, black, about the black people. Only time you hear about blacks in, in school, is basically slavery, civil war, and things of that nature. And so I couldn't find really a place in history, you know, that satisfied me as a young black kid, right? Um, but when I started going to movies, you know what I mean? I see a movie like, um, you know, you know, they had like the double feature, you'll see a movie like maybe Black Samurai and a Bruce Lee movie mixed together. And you see the modern, you know, martial art with, the, with, the, uh, with Jim Kelly, but then you see the the history, you know, the, a movie based in the early 1800s or 1900s with Bruce Lee, and it started giving me a taste of history. Um, I think that, you know, the the, the Asian culture of her heroism, uh, how one man will fight against oppression, how other men will lay down lay down their lives for their man and for the, what they believe in. I think that resonated with me. You know what I'm saying? I think it resonated with with our community. You know what I mean? If you look at um, throughout America um, in the 70s, there was many, uh, they call grindhouse movie theaters, that would show you the Mac <laughs> and Chinese Connection. That'd be a double feature, you know what I mean? And the kids would walk, walk out being cool like the Mac, but yeah, throwing punches and kicks like Bruce Lee. Um, and even when black exploitation started growing through somebody like Rudy Ray Moore, through Dolomite, there was always some kind of martial arts scene inside the black exploitations. So I think it was a, a, a big resonance. But one thing I want to add, you know, being the abbot of Wu-Tang Clan, and what really touched me was, it was probably um, around the age of 13, 14, uh, I saw a film called 36 Chambers, a uh, Shaw Brother film. And in this film, it's a, it's a martial art film based on Shaolin Temple. But the story of this movie resonated with me more than American history. Because here we had a man that was being oppressed by the government. Uh, they destroyed the schools for teaching philosophy. And he had to flee, after, after they killed his family, he had to flee to a place and learn martial arts, Shaolin, and build himself up. And then he comes back and become a man who teaches his philosophy of Shaolin to the regular people so that they could grow to be stronger. That was something, you know, going through America at that time, you know, where racism was strong in my neighborhood. And like I said, history of history of, of blacks was like, there was no history. We didn't, you know, we didn't, I didn't think the black man existed past slavery. And then seeing history with another group of people going on with the same oppression and, and the same struggle and fighting for it, it resonated with me.